guys, Kurt Clape here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you how to make a slideshow with music and pictures using your Mac. We've done some videos in the past showing you how to do things on your phone, but today we're going to show you on a Macintosh computer how to easily make a, a slideshow with music and pictures. Let's get started. Two main ways to create slideshows with music and pictures on your Mac. One is to use iMovie. With iMovie you have a lot more control, but it, it's harder to do. It takes a little bit more skills. The second is using photos, and it's super easy in photos. You can make a, a good slideshow of your photos, whatever photos you want with music and whatnot, in under a minute, really, if you want. Depends on how many photos you want to add or how much time you spend looking at them and editing them. But you can make a simple slideshow in under a minute with, with photos, with the Photos app on your on your Macintosh computer. So let's get started. I'm going to show you the simple way using photos and let's do this. So first you want to open photos. If you're not familiar with photos, photos is what replaced iPhoto. It's, it's similar to iPhoto but but it's quite a bit different at the same time. And you use this to import any pictures from your phone or pictures from your camera or whatever you're using to import. You use photos to do that and to organize them. You can organize them into albums, and different things like that. So let's get started, it's super simple. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna click on albums. You'll see at the top you've got photos, shared, albums, projects, import, and so on. We wanna click on albums. And then we wanna click on all photos. All photos is gonna show us all the photos on here. And we're just gonna look through and find the photos we want for this particular slideshow. If I was making a slideshow, let me back up, push the back arrow here. If I was making a slideshow just off of the pictures I just barely imported today or yesterday or whatever, I'd click on last imported and then I'd only see I'd only see the photos from that last import. Back arrow to go back, but I'm going to choose photos from a bunch of different days where I imported. So I'm going to open up all photos and I can start looking through here. Here's a nice picture of my wife and her friend finishing a race. I'll add that. And I'm going to show you how to select more than one, what you do is you hold command on your keyboard. Now you'll see the blue line around it means I've selected that photo. If I come down here and grab this picture of my daughter, hold command, I can select that. Picture of me here, command, select that. Now you'll see I've got a blue line around three photos. That means I've selected three pictures. Okay, I can scroll up. Who doesn't want bacon in their slideshows? Let's put that in. Let's put my daughter with her guinea pig. Let's put my son with no pants on. Let's put my son with a mustache. Picture of me and some buddies on a run. A cool panoramic of my daughter where she shows up three times. Picture of all the grandkids with my parents at a wedding. Picture of my family at the same wedding. Love this picture of my son. And again, I'm holding command as I click on these. So whatever pictures you want to add to your slideshow, you hold command and click on those pictures. My son collecting food for a scout food drive. Me and my wife on our ninth anniversary getaway. Okay, whatever pictures you want, you select them while holding command. Now, once you've got all the pictures that you want, you're going to click this add button right here. And you can add it to an album or to a book if you want to do some printing, but we're going to add it to an album. You can do a new album and name it, or if you've already created an album, you can select that. But we're going to do a new one, since this is your first time, if you're watching this video. And we're going to call this Demo Slideshow. You can name it whatever you want. If it's a trip you went on, call it that trip, if, whatever you want. Click OK. And now, if I go into Albums, and I back up here, you'll see that I now have a slideshow called Demo Slideshow. If I double click that, the only pictures in here are the ones I chose to be in my slideshow. Okay, now that I've got my pictures organized into a, a photo album. I'm going to select the entire photo album, all the pictures, and click Command A because I want all these pictures to be in my slideshow. And then I'm going to push File, Create Slideshow. I can name this the same as I've made my album or I can name it something new if I want. I'm going to name it Cool Kids Slideshow. Click OK. 
it's now going to create a project called Slideshow. You'll see I have all these pictures in here. If I want to change the title that shows up here, I can change that here. If I want to preview my Slideshow, I simply push play. And I can exit out of this. If I want to make some adjustments to this, this right here is the theme picker, these squares. If I click on this, I can choose different themes. The Ken Burns one where they zoom in and out. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, the pictures zoom in and out. I can choose origami, it's kind of cool. Everything folds in like origami. And all these themes come with a free royalty free music that you can use or you can change it out for your own music, it's up to you. I'm going to go with the origami theme because I like it, but you can play around with different themes here as well. Now, if I don't want to use the theme music, I click on music right here, and I can click on my music library, and it'll show you everything you got in iTunes, and you can look through your iTunes library to find a different song to put on it. I'm going to leave the theme music for simplicity, and then if you want to change how long the slides are on the screen, you click on this and you can change the settings there, but I'm going to leave mine alone, again for simplicity. Now, I could preview the whole thing all the way through, but I'm happy with what I've got, so I'm going to export it. I click export, and before I do, let me just point this out. The way mine made it, it you can see it put these photos into different groups. So I now have nine different slides, 20 pictures total, and it's a 30 sec. 36 second slideshow. So I click export, name it whatever I want to name it, designate which folder I want to save it in. I'm going to save it in my uh, movies folder for now. And then what quality I want it to be, let's go full high def, and I click save. Okay. Now I wait for it to export. When it's done, I'll show you what my slideshow looks like. So Photos has now finished exporting my movie, Cool Kids Slideshow. And now I can go take a look at it. I'll show you what it looks like. Click on Finder, the little smiley face square down here. Go to Movies and Cool Kids Slideshow. If you select that and push the spacebar, you can preview your video. I'll let you know, see what mine looks like here. That's all folks, that's all I got for you today. That's how you create a slideshow with music and pictures on your Mac. And uh, go ahead and leave a comment with any questions you have, with anything that was unclear, and I'll respond to these comments. And also let me know what movie or what video you'd like me to, to go over next. What would you like me to teach next? And uh, we'll go from there. Enjoy, please subscribe, click the link below my face, and uh, talk to you later.